Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today I'm going to show you another cool atmospheric effect, and it's about creating a candle. And we're going to look at creating the particle effect using textures and emission to make a subsurface style scattering effect. We'll look at adding a light, we'll look at making the flame follow the player. And you might think to yourself, well, this is a bit of a boring tutorial, but anything that you add to your game can often be something that's really small, but can add a lot more life and detail to your scene. Now I'm going to show you using this with a free asset. It'll all be on my Patreon, along with over 145 different other scripts, assets, and projects you can't find anywhere else. So I'm going to get this candle model, which is a PBR model, because I want it to match with my scene that I've got. And this is on CG Trader, and I'll put the link in the description. Now it comes to the selection of maps, which is Diffuse, Roughness, Metallic, Normal, and AO. Now that's great normally for other engines, but for Unity, we need to convert the Roughness and the Metallic to a specific metal, Smoothness. Now I've got another tutorial which I'll link to, which is about converting Unreal Engine materials to Unity, and this shows you how to do the conversion process. You just take the Metallic, you do an inversion of the roughness and then you put that in Photoshop as an alpha mask. First of all, we're going to get started. I'm just going to create a new empty game object and I'm just going to call this my candle parent because this is going to hold all my objects. Make sure it's reset so it's just centered. Then in my models, I will have a model called candle when you brought that in and you will have candle here and you might want to scale it up depending on the size that you want your candle to be. It doesn't currently have any textures on it. What we're going to do is just create the new material to reference those materials. So I'm just going to call this underscore new candle. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my textures that I've created. And again, you can get all this on my Patreon. So I've got albedo, ambient occlusion, metallic smoothness, which I created, the normal map. So what we can do is add that to our candle. And of course you can add that to your actual main candle and then the actual wick as well. Now we wanted to create that subsurface style effect that when a candle does get heated up, you could see that the heat through it. So say we, in this case, we take the candle albedo and this is what it looks like if you've painted something from Substance Painter. So you can see here that the candle is this section here. So what I did was just created a quick mask in this area. I just grabbed the magic wand tool and just selected off these areas by holding shift. And let's say you paint into these areas with your paintbrush, something like that. If you mask this off a little better, an emission map is only a black and white map. So everything that's black will not be seen and will not, will not be shown on the emission and everything white will be highlighted or a more lighter object if you need to create a lampshade or something. Now all I've done is created a gradient. So from the bottom to the top. So you need to test which way around this goes or if you're just making a mission map. So say we've got a new layer, I can just create a gradient like this by grabbing the gradient tool and just dragging down but in this case, it needs to be on the texture. So when I've masked it up, I've just gone from white to dark because I know this is the way that the candle should go. You might have to test it and bring it in a couple of times. So you need to make sure that you work out which way is the way that you want it to be. You can go back onto our original material of the candle that we created and enable the emission. And I'm just going to type in the candle emission that I wanted. Now that this is highlighted, we can up the intensity and you can see that it lights up the wick of the candle exactly like I wanted. Now we could make this a more of an orange color or a yellow color, depending on how you want it to look. And then you can also adjust the general RGB levels to decide whereabouts that you want, if you want the hotspot anywhere in particular. And of course, if I enable the lighting a little bit, you can see it a little bit easier. And of course, if you adjust the intensity, bright enough, you will get that bloom effect if you're using post processing. Now I'm just going to add my candle to my parent object. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a particle effect. So now I'm going to right click on my hierarchy, go effects and choose particle system. Now I'm just going to call this my candle flame particle. And then we need to actually create a material for this. So we're just going to right click in our project panel, go create and choose material. And I'm just going to call this candle flame. And then we're going to drop down and we're going to go to particles 
and standard unlit. Now in Photoshop, all I've got here is just to show you is that I've got a picture of a flame got and I've just made sure that it's fully white and you can draw this yourself or get it wherever you want. Of course, I'll link it on my Patreon. Now you want it to have a transparent background. I'm only put black here so you can see it. Now this is 1024 by 1024. And I'm just going to save this out. Then I'm going to go to my candle flame material and I'm just going to add the 1024 candle flame to my albedo slot with my candle flame is I'm just going to have the mode on additive so we can see it now and then also have the color mode on additive too so we get a little bit of a brighter HDRI hotspot and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the intensity and maybe just have it a tiny little bit towards a yellow just so that we get some intensity and you can adjust this intensity when the time comes when we're messing around with the particle. So now we can go back to our particle effect and on here we can leave the duration at five. We can have the start live time at one. We can keep the start speed at zero because we don't want that to happen anymore. I'm just going to set the start size to quite small. So 0 0.04. So we get something really small to start with. Then what I'm going to do is set my emission to something like five and then we'll go down to the renderer and I'm going to change my material to the candle flame. And then you'll be able to see it here and you can see it popping around over there somewhere. Now we can have the shape and we're just going to set this to an edge. So edge is just going to make it appear wherever that edge is. Now you can see this edge is currently horizontal and we don't want that. We want that to face, want that line to face vertical. So we'll just put 90 degrees on the rotation in the Y axis. And then you can see it around here. Now we're going to set our radius to be 0.004 so that we don't want much radius at all. And I'm just going to place it around where the wick is. And you can see that it moves up ever so slightly. We also want to do a color of a lifetime. We'll create a point at the top. And at the bottom, we're just going to set the alpha to zero. So we get more of a fade. I'm just going to select my initial color at the bottom here and just set it a little, to a little bit of yellow like so. And then right on the end as well, we're also going to fade this out because we want it to be a much more very subtle effect of when our candle moves is we can add some velocity over lifetime so that it always moves up or something like that. Or we get a little bit of, you know, just a, a, a little variation that a candle flame would have. So we'll do a variance between two constants and we'll do 0 0.01, but that's a bit too crazy, I think. So we'll do 0 0.01, then to a minus 0 0.01. And then we'll do the same on all of our other actions. So we'll do a 0 0.001 and do the same for the Z axis as well. So now you can see that our flame will be very, very subtly affected. And as it transitions up, will get a little bit of sway either side. Of course, you can adjust these settings from the 0 0.001 to something else. Now we can just attach this particle flame to our object here. Now what we can do is go game object and then we can go to light and just choose a point light. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set the range to about 10 and just make the color a little bit warmer to based on our source that it has. Now I'm just gonna disable gizmos again and I can play my particle effect and I have it here. And of course you can adjust your specific particle color or intensity if you want it to be any less or more bright, or even if you want to just change the color slightly so you could make it slightly more of an orange. And of course I've got these effects because I've got post-processing effects on with Bloom. So then with these effects created, we can then use these duplicated models and then we can create a cool effect around our scene to create candles that we can create the look of the burning candles which give a lot of atmosphere to the scene. So I hope you like this little tutorial and make sure you get everything on my Patreon if you want to get a hold of all these assets and everything that you want to use. Do throw a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to always be kept up to date to what I'm doing. Do check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and all the massive savings that you can find on my website too. Big thanks to him, all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Gene Pomye, Manos Berikas, Terence Conrad, Gage Linston, Walter Dunson, Joseph Newman, Rene Leisure, Darren M, Topher Chambers, Ishtak Simani, Gary McGee, Christian Selent, Skyer Skyer, Benjamin Shankle, HK, Amanda Ditami, Alex Shen, William M, Iraya Sensei, Krishna Kalili, Alyssa Faden, Daniel Getajank, and Lebrons. So thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.